Hi everyone. Um, today I was going to talk about um, Edit in Canvas. Basically, it's a um, yeah, it's a capability within Leonardo AI where you can actually just go into the campus, grab a picture from anywhere, and edit it as needed. Um, as you can see here, this is my account. I have um, this is from a previous video where I I basically messed with my avatar Janice and put her on a beach and came out to be in him. It's it was amazing. so if you want, you can check that out. Um, check that video out. Um, but I just wanted to go over the canvas part and really talk about um, how to expand an already existing picture and to use the masking feature, which I don't think I've used yet in any of my videos. So this will be a first time. All right. So right now I'm just in this uh, Leonardo menu. So I'm just going to get out of, to get out of this. I'm just going to create that move. Click here. Excuse me. And you can see there are community feeds and um, all that but this is where I want the AI canvas so I'm going to click here and open it up okay right here we have a blank canvas there's absolutely no picture in here so what I have done is that I went to Pexels and I downloaded um, a video because I wanted to show you that you can actually edit any type of I'm sorry downloaded a picture even though Pexels does have videos really cool videos you can use but I downloaded a picture and it'll show you that you can actually use this to edit even a real photograph um, from any other site provided that you have the permissions to do that and copyright so please be careful about that that's serious so just you know if you can grab a from a free site like um, you know Unsplash or Pexels or if you have the rights to use uh, stock sites like um, you know Dreams Time and I think Big Stock Photos great so let me go ahead and let me grab from my computer. Um, hold on a second. This photo by Luca Dross. Um, again, the person's name is Luca Dross. Thank you for creating this beautiful photo. It was exactly what I needed. Um, so we're going to basically use the same techniques that I spoke to in the image prompt, or in, I'm sorry, the other edit to canvas um, video. And let me go ahead and put this in a position where I'm not going to be giving, I'm going to basically be increasing the background. All right, that should be enough. I think that's actually less than half. That should be fine. I'll extend it as, as I need. All right, that should be good. If it's a little bit off, it's a little bit off. But um, all right, so let me go ahead and try a prompt and say same background. Okay, let's generate and see what comes up. Hopefully something comes up, but I realized that I did not change the stable diffusion 1.5, so I'm pretty much at its mercy. Cross my fingers. I should have changed the stable diffusion 1.2.1 immediately. And there it is. <laughs> oh, this is actually pretty good. Let me hold on for a second. Oh, that is nice. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to take a away everything I've said about Stable Diffusion 1.5, but right now it's it's treating me well, and I appreciate that. So, ooh, which one of these should I pick? All of them look so beautiful. Um, I think I'll, I'll pick, this one kind of looks like a weeping willow. I like this one, so I'll pick that one. All right, so as you can see, that's the extension of the picture. So let's go ahead and do this again. We just move this back. I did a zoom out with my mouse. And we're going to do, um, again, we're going to do same background. Yeah, I didn't do too badly on the top. So let me go with same background again. So let's generate. Still sticking with stable diffusion 1.5. Ooh, that is beautiful. Well, let me take a look at the other ones. Oh, that's nice. Nah, not good. Yeah, three out of four ain't bad, actually. Actually, this was, yeah, three out of four ain't bad. Let's see, I like this one a lot. I like this one better. It's really nice. So I'm going to accept this. And here's our picture. See, apart from my little snub up here, you really couldn't tell that this was not already an expanded picture. That's how cool it is. All right, so I'm going to 
do one more expansion out here because I want to see how this tree comes out. And with this background. Okay. Alright, let's do the same background again. I'll stick with Stable Diffusion 1.5 until I have reason not to. And there it is. Okay. Come on. Okay! You know, it's like it just kind of gives me enough that I'm like, you know, it, it, it works. Okay. I like this. Accept. I like, well, actually, I like two of those, so it's really cool. It's really hard to choose. And I'm going to go here and do the same background. Ooh, this is beautiful. Okay. Nope. Well, I had to throw one in there. It's fine. Ah, oh, all of them are gorgeous, though. Oh, well, except for that one. But I like this one. It's kind of got the darkness. I kind of like this one. So I'm going to go right here and I'm gonna choose this one. See? Now, we have taken um, a photograph from someone on a site like Pexels or Unsplash, and we have now expanded it to be something more I love the you know more a broader picture okay so one thing that I am going to do in here is I'm going to use the mask the draw mask now you have probably used this kind of uh, mechanism in other applications I know I have it's basically just a little dot and you get it, it colors the place um, so what I like to do is I make to make a nice a good size dot and then it colors it a blue so what I'm going to do is I'm going to color this a blue right here okay I'm gonna move this move to this select button move the mask over here make sure that I'm you know not gonna be extending it if I do it's fine and then it's in this mask what I'm going to say to is I'm gonna say um, sheep grazing okay so what it should do is it should take that space that I have masked and put in sheep grazing. Uh, but before I do that, I am going to change the stable diffusion 2.1 here. I just don't want to, you know, compromise my run here. So let's go ahead and see and generate and see how that comes out. Okay, that looks pretty cool. That looks nice. Hmm. Actually, I have this. Yeah, I have the run of this, so I'm gonna choose this one because there's a black sheep in it. Why not? So, see, now you have sheep grazing. Beautiful sheep grazing. Okay, so right here, I'm just gonna put like you know. I'm going to add another mask and go like this. And I'm going to show um, chickens. Even though this does look like winter, doesn't matter. Or it looks like fall, doesn't matter, it's still beautiful. Alright, so let me just see what happens here. And of course my chickens are of course, you know, doing their morning routine. Whoa, okay, these are really kind of big chickens. But it could also be a perspective thing. Okay, that looks much better. Alright, I'm going to go with, um, just for perspective, I'm going to go with, with these right here, these chickens right here. Except. Alright, so now here's what we have. A picture that I took from... A free picture, a, fr a free access, public access picture I took from Pexels. Put it in the Leonardo AI canvas um, generator, the AI, yeah, the AI canvas background. And basically expanded the picture yeah, in a way that was congruent with what was already there. 
Now, say I wanted to um, get rid of these sheep. Not really get rid of them, but you know. Um, they look a little too small compared to those chickens, and I don't think I've ever seen chickens bigger than sheep. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Erase tool. Okay? And let's see, this is the Erase tool, and I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to get rid of these sheep from right here. Now I have... Okay, not a problem. Great. So I've erased it. You can see that this is now like it basically just bored a hole in the picture. So what I want to do is I actually want to do more sheep grazing. So I'm going to go ahead and generate this or regenerate that part of the picture. And you should not need to add the mask again. You should not need to ask add excuse me add the draw mask. It should automatically um, go ahead and generate it as is. So let's go ahead. It might take a little bit of time. Oh, okay. That was pretty quick. Okay. Let's see. And this is nothing. This is pretty cool. Okay. So right, those those sheep legs are really long there. Okay. But yeah, I guess I'll accept this one. This one's actually like they're coming a little bit closer, so they look like they're a little bit bigger. So I'll set that one. Great, so now we've locked it in, see? We we're able to change, we're able to, to actually, hey, let's go over what we've done here, first of all. We're able to take a picture that we've gotten, expand it, add elements that weren't there before, erase one of the elements that we added because we didn't like it, then re-added the element, all within this edit canvas in Leonardo AI. Not bad. I think it could be very useful, especially um, for, you know, those of us who have, like for me, I know for whenever I need to do a scene, I'd like to expand the room or whatever. I actually recently did that for one of the chapters of my scenes. And I basically just had the character there, I expanded the room, and I added a door, and it, it came out much, much um, better than just having the regular picture that I had. So this is a cool tool. Play around with it. Please have fun. And, um, you know, I'll see you guys in the next video.